tonight on Grilling with the Guru. What we doing? Poutine. Hey. Never heard of poutine? Uh uh-uh. uh. It involves french fries, gravy, sausage, and we're going to put some shrimp in it. And you don't want to miss it because Grilling with the Guru starts right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Welcome to Grilling with the Guru. Now, Keith, where you at, Bo? Keith, <laughs> look. Yeah. Now look at that. It's warm right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's in front of the fireplace. But that's all right. I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, now he's good. Don't stay warm. <laughs> yeah, dude. What are we doing? Some poutine. Some poutine. What? So okay. Put- so how you came across that? Well, I watch a lot of food TV. You know that. He did. Y'all know that. Yeah. So uh, poutine is the number one bar food snack dish in Canada. And it, uh, it, it's one of those things that somebody threw together and it took off. So originally it, it uses home cut French fries, which we're going to tell you a couple trick secrets to make the best fries you've ever had. Mm-hmm. Uh, they use a brown gravy. Mm-hmm. We're not, they're brown, no, we're going to do something different. We're going to do two things different. We're going to do two things different. That's right. And uh, so they use cheese curds. And so the, the way the dish assembles is it's fries, put the cheese curds on it, you pour the gravy on it, and melts the cheese curds and you eat it. So that's, we're going to do a version of that. Cheese curds are not the easiest thing to come by, so we're going to use the next best thing, which is cheese. Just regular cheese. But we're doing two versions. We're going to use a roux base and sausage over the some fries. Some smoked meats. And then we're going to use some tasso and some shrimp in a cream-based sauce to go over this. Look, I, I, did a, I did a test run in we my house. We got deal, man. We got deal. That's the deal. We got the deal. Did a test run of this in my house? Uh, it went over huge, oh, my, I know. My, my daughter was like, this is the best thing I had in my house. <laughs> we got to thank our sponsors. Hey. Courtesy Motors. Let courtesy, me get out the way, y'all. Courtesy uh, Bro Bridge. Go to courtesybb.com and pick yours out. You need to hurry, though, because, uh, whew. Man, they're still, uh, they still struggling to get a new inventory. Slim Pickens, the computer, computer chip thing is going on. Uh, yeah. So. Um, get with the greatest foods makers of Louisiana love. Yeah. If you're not cooking with Louisiana love, you ain't loving what you're cooking. What are you doing? You just need to stop, just rewind, stop. Yeah, and, try and start again. all over. Cajun Grill. Cajun Grill. Can't do it any of it without the old silver bullet back Let here. Let me tell Cajun you, grill. that thing is like a tank. It's true, man. It's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. And we got a new food sponsor. Tell them about it. Okay, look, y'all. Earl's Superette on Verot School Road. That's Larry Como, Tim, his son, and his beautiful wife. Y'all need to just go over there. Now, okay. They opened so yesterday? yesterday? They open every day. No, but they just opened it yesterday? Day no, before? Dude, no, dude, oh, no, dude, no, dude. Listen, Jay. Oh, so the story is, is that my, I call him Uncle Earl. That uh, was our neighbor okay. here in, in the neighborhood. Grew up with his kids. They're like brothers and sisters. We're all, we're all family. Well, he, he got to the point where he was ready to retire. He sold it to his nephew. That's Larry. That's Larry. Larry's a little entrepreneur. He's a little go-getter, man. He's so, got a kid in alarm. He's got Earl's. He's all over the place. You Larry, know what I'm saying? Is it like a moving target? So I've been buying my specialty meats from them, I'm telling you, since I was 18. I'm 54. Cool. Do the math. Yeah. So a little bit cool. long. It and, wasn't even uh, called specialty meats back then. It was just called meats. And I'm telling you, when Larry <laughs> took it over, not that Earl, Earl had a fantastic business, but he modernized it. He yeah. moved the meat department. They do plate lunches every Sunday, mm. barbecue. Let me tell you, they're mm. famous for them. Mm. And uh, we're extremely happy to have these guys on there. In house boudin. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say it. I know yours is good. I love yeah, you, but boudin. I, I don't you, sell you don't, Yeah, and you don't give me none. I gotta go buy it. <laughs> but. The best boudin, I told, I called Larry, I said, dude, I love a boudin where the rice kernel is still formed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it when it's all mashed it's mush, and yeah. it's, they put it in there too hot and it's mm-hmm. all like one thing. That's what you're going to find. They got like all kind of specialty fresh pork sausage. They got jalapeno sauce. They got pineapples. Jalapeno, Go to Earl. Or whatever you need. Go to Earl Super X. And the friendliest butchers you're going to find in town, you, if you want a special cut of thick pork chop, Tell they them. got it. They're going to cut it for you, baby. All right. 
So hey, that brings us to our first break. Yeah. We're gonna go away. We're gonna clean up a little bit. When y'all come back, we're getting ready to cook. We got we're we, chopping. That we're chopping. We're putting stuff on the grill. We got Let's pots go start and pans. And we got oil and we got all kinds of stuff. Come see us in two minutes. You're gonna like this. Yes, sir. I think. Maybe. Come on. Welcome back to the show. We just cutting up, bro. That's all we're doing. Hey. And speaking of cutting up, we're going to cut up. So, so look, I'm going to tell them what's on the grill. We do get that. off camera. We got a, a cast iron skillet, guys. Yeah. We put a little olive oil. We got yeah. some mushrooms. Yeah. And we got the uh, the tasso. No, uh, yeah. So, uh, tasso. No, no. We have mushrooms, onions, and we're fixing to add some garlic. Oh, yeah. The tasso is still up, up there. Yeah, because we're making poutine. 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 Look at this. I like that. Look, oh, at, the smell, look how beautiful. Wow. The smell. We got a little Louisiana love in there. Yeah, we do. Ooh. So we, let's talk about what poutine is. What is poutine, bro? So poutine is basically mm. uh, loaded French fries. That, bro. Give me some French bread. Don't you got it. some French bread? I didn't get no French <laughs> didn't bread. Get no French That's bread. sad. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> that's all right. I'll forgive you. <laughs> so poutine is basically loaded French fries. Okay, that's really what it comes down to. But mm -hmm. it's all in how you do it. So like we were saying in the beginning of the show, the Canadians, they use a, a box or a, or a dry mix brown gravy. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing that. We ain't that. doing that's that. Not that's, not we, we, that's not what we're we do. doing. That's not but what we're we doing. But we are making our own fries. So making your own fries is a little bit of a lengthy process, but it's absolutely worth it. And I have, I have some made and frozen. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Tell them how to do it, bro. It's real easy. So you <laughs> cut your fries in the sticks, cut your potatoes in the sticks. Give them a quick rinse uh, under water to get the starch off of them. And then. But you gotta, you're going to have to pat them dry. So you just use, you fry them at 250 degrees for about 20 minutes. I ain't seen Kurt. The last thing I want is some greasy potato. <laughs> no. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> so what you're doing is you're blanching the, you're blanching the potatoes. So you, you're slowly heating them up. You're breaking down the cell walls and you're releasing the water. So when you drop them in there, they're going to start to bubble, but not, not rapid frying. Right. And they're going to bubble and bubble and bubble, and then the bubble's going to quit after a while. It's <laughs> yeah. going to get real slow. And then you pull them? Take them out, put them on a wire rack in a single layer. And that's the part where you got to be real careful, because they're cooked at this point, and they're really soft. Put them in a single layer, let them cool off, and pop them in your freezer. And then let them freeze. Then you can, you can take them right off the rack and put them in a, in a zipper bag, and they'll stay there for whenever you need them. Ooh, whenever, ooh. You, whenever you refry them, 450-degree 400, oil. Flash fry. Boom. As yep. soon as they turn brown, they are the best fries you will crispy? ever have. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they stay crispy. You know, sometimes whenever you do home fries, right. they're crispy and they brown, but as soon as you sit, they, get, they start to, to, to get wilty. But that's right. That's because the, the water's leaching out of it. They didn't cook, you didn't have enough time to cook all the water out of it. When you blanch them first, you take care of that so there's nothing left but potato. Uh, wow. It's really good. Now, to balance that, we also, I also bought a bag of pre-cut, crinkle-cut fries. Just cause. So we're going we're gonna to do a little <laughs> compare and contrast. Because we can. That's what we're doing. So hey. That man's mixing it. He's chopping up some okay, dill. Okay, so, yeah, so what I did, that's some fresh dill, guys. We're going to save oh some for garn. I know, the smell is amazing. It smells incredible. And we put some Louisiana love in there, so we're just going to toss that up, and then we're going to yeah. pan fry that. Yes. In a skillet. And yes. we're going to do this one with the, the, the whipping cream. Yeah, we're going to make a cream, cream uh, We're going to make a tasso cream sauce with Ooh, that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <It's gonna laughs> <be good. laughs> and that's going to be good. Hey, Baudouin, you picked the right show to come, bro. That's right. We got a little protege back there, that's man. That's right. He, he's, An he apprentice. His, he got his hands in his pocket, but he's going <laughs> to be up to his elbows and poutine in a little bit there. That's right. <laughs> So look, we're gonna cut up the sausage. Yeah, and then that, and the sausage we're gonna we're gonna saute as well because you want to render some of that fat. And yeah. actually, actually, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna cut up. We're gonna put it on the grill as is. We're gonna cue it. We're gonna cue it. Yeah. Then we're gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna put that's this gonna in work. there with the skillet, bro. Put it in there with the skillet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ah, look at that. You got some uh, you got some grill space for me? I do. Of course you do. It's the Cajun grill. Come on, bro. Throw it on Watch there. That. Boom. Boom. Like that. That's the beautiful thing about this grill. Man, no matter how much food you gotta prepare, you always seem to got enough space. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? Oh, you can look, this thing, you can put out some food in there, oh. Nice, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, man, that smells good. It's amazing. Lord. So, this dish yeah. goes together once you get everything prepped, not very long. 
No, no, it all comes together real quick. So about we're going to talk about five minutes, something like that. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we're going to talk about how you would serve this in like a party setting. Because look, once you put the gravy on the fries, it's all over. You need to start <laughs> eating because uh, they can only stand up to so much. So we're going to talk about how you could have this at your, at, your, at your place, like for people coming over to watch the Super Bowl or whatever, how you could serve this so everybody gets Snoop Dogg. a wonderful experience. Not that high. It, is, it don't cost that much. It's not that high. We got to take another little break. Yes, we do. So look, when you come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about poutine. We're going to do, look, Salt Bay right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're going to keep on cooking, and it's still going to be good. Oh, yeah, but Y'all don't go nowhere because we're coming right back. So you I'll do probably me. buy the fire, though. Probably so. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. Keep. We got it. Mo, we got some stuff happening, baby. Uh, uh, y'all better hurry up because I'm hungry. <laughs> we keep snacking on the cheese. Look, the corners are missing. Half the sausage is gone. We're going to put that on some white bread. Quality control. That's right. So, yeah. So, look, we're the making shrimp. poutine. If you just yeah. join, the shame on you. But we're making poutine, which is a... Uh, which is basically loaded fries. It's a hell of a fry. Oh boy! They, and they, look, this is gonna be Cajun eyes. So look, what? it's gonna be like it's like weaponized fries. We're gonna make fries. them. We're gonna make them Canadians go. Make they don't. No, yeah, and they, <laughs> they, they be like it's not supposed to be that way. The truckers will take care of them. All right, so let's talk about the cheeses that we're, that we're gonna use. That's some interesting cheeses. Okay, so listen, everything in balance. You want something creamy, something spicy, yeah, look, something sharp. That's some soft cheese. Yeah, this is called Port Salut. This is one of the best cheeses you can get. It's not very expensive. It is. It melts like crazy. This stuff's mm, so good. Mm -hmm. This is a Chipotle Gouda. This is a semi-soft cheese. That. It's gonna uh, it's gonna have some spice in it, and it's gonna melt well too. And this is an extra sharp cheddar. This stuff is fantastic. It's, it's cheddar not, and it's white. Yeah, and it's not it's not gonna melt exceptionally well because it's a sharp cheddar. So sharp cheddars have a, a lower oil content, um, but it's gonna taste fantastic. We got a lot of rich stuff going on, so we oh, need we do. something to cut through it. So that's gonna work great. Cutting up the sausage. So the way this this dish is gonna come together is we're gonna fry our French fries. We're gonna put them in the base of a bowl. Then we're gonna put the toppings on it, which is gonna be some sausage. With the tasso, the, the mushrooms, the onions. We got shrimp. We got shrimp. <laughs> and then we have two sauces. We're going to have a roux-based sauce, which is basically going to be a stew. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have uh, a white... Uh, cream a, sauce. A, a cream sauce that's going to be like a tasso sauce that, with shrimp that's going to go over it. And we tasted it. And it's saucy boy. Oh, Lord. Woo! So, poutine really is a blank slate. You can do whatever you want. I picked up a jalapeno. You could put jalapenos on it. You what? Look, there's no limit. Let your imagination Let run wild. Let your imagination wow. run wild. You mm. could do, you could do a, a grilled chicken. You could do a Mexican theme where you, you put pico de gallo on it or whatever. And you do that queso fresco che uh, uh, yeah, cheese. Yeah, that's right. Or cotilla Ooh. cheese or mm. whatever. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it just is no end to it. Some street corn. Ooh. Oh, some elote. 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 Well, that would be Watch fantastic. Watch your language. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Put the kids to bed. G-rated. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a low so, so, yeah. So, we're just cutting up the, the sausage. So, it's nice bite-sized pieces. Correct. We got, some, we got some green onions we're going to garnish with. Oh, and some dill. And some dill. Jalapeno. Yep. We got so, the water on there. We're going to make the stew sauce. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how you would serve this for, let's say you have some people coming at, at your house. Let's say, so... If you pour the gravy all over the fries, it's gonna get soggy. So the way to do it would Wait be Wait till the very end. Put the put the gravy on the side, Everything keep it cooked. warm, yeah. and all the toppings, and you would do it just like you would nachos or anything else. You'd put your fries, put your toppings, hit it with the gravy. Could you do like a uh, do pre 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 do your sauces, right? Yeah. Cook your French fries. Yep. Let everybody serve their own French fries and do like a fondue and just have a little ladle and just that's come out there and have exactly it all melted and everything correct. and warm and just Boom. pour it on there. That's how you would do it so everybody get crispy fries. Hot sauces and, and the toppings would all be hot. By the time they'd sit down, everything would be ready to go. Pee. I'm getting hungry thinking about it. I've been hungry. What are you talking about? <laughs> when I lit the pit, I was hungry. <laughs> when that smoke started rolling. Mm, Lord have mercy. Let's go. All right. Let's throw it to break. We all right. It. Let's we're going to take another little break. This is, so this is going to be a big game recipe. Uh, but look, this is going to be good anytime you the, want the, it. The next segment, we got to do a, a Charlie Pritchett knowledge bomb. Knowledge bomb. We're coming at you, Charlie Pritchett. We're coming at you. Dude, he made me some chow chow. 
<laughs> my wife is his best fan, I biggest see, fan. I see how you are, Charles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got some. I'm going to give you some. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. All right. See you in two minutes. Love you. See ya. Okay, guys, this is a test. Just this come, is just, only uh, a test. Yeah, ma. So you dip it in this stew sauce, <laughs> and you're like, mmm, mmm, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Tastes like gumbo on a stick. <laughs> and then you put it in the cream sauce with the shrimp, and you're like, oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> oh my. Tastes like a egg to bed. Or, on a, a, or a fettuccine on a stick. On a stick. <laughs> My Lord. God! Tell them what's in that, Kurt. Oh, all right. So hey, it's poutine. So this is, this is really just a stew. It's, it's water and roux dissolve. Uh, we have uh, some onions in there, some garlic, and of course we put our cut sausage back in so we can get that flavor. And then right next to you we have uh, he this is our, our shrimp sauce. We have heavy whipping cream, a little bit of wine, some olive oil, onions, dill, and also. Some Tasso and some some uh, 50, uh, uh, 50, 61 shrimp. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, some Louisiana love. So with that, we're going to fry our French fries like we started doing. So we're going to do fries, topping, sauce, love. That's what's going to happen. Whew, that's poutine. And then cheese, okay? You got to you gotta put your cheeses. So the Charlie Pritchett knowledge bomb could be the 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 two different styles you know cooking with roux versus cooking with cream absolutely so the difference is is that uh the roux base as you cook it it will not break it will continue to just get thicker and thicker and thicker until it returns to actually a roux you cook all the water out of it the cream based sauce if you could if you cook it long enough the fats will separate from the uh the sauce will separate from the liquids and you're going to have a big mess of, of separated oil and milk solids and you don't want that so m the knowledge bomb is mine, your cooking time, uh, a little bit of cornstarch in that. In that Thickened it up a bit. And it also helps bind it. Mm -hmm. so, watch your, uh, so watch your cooking times and adjust your water accordingly as you need to. And that's it. You're going to have perfect sauce, baby. And there's your Charlie Pritchett knowledge bomb. <laughs>so we fry. I've got some French fries. We frying fries. We got some French fries We're over here. Fries, baby. So you you got your your special fries. Yes. Yeah, which so you're gonna do are, last. Yeah. And so these those, are yeah. pre-fried. Yep. But these are just crinkle fries. So and so the so crinkle fries that you get from the store that you get frozen. That's what this is. Right. Except you know it. They put they put some preservatives in here. Some different things with it. This is 100% Idaho potatoes. And when you're going to fry them things up, it, it's just, I'm telling you, I can't oversell them. It's a little bit of labor intensive, but do a bunch at a time. So you could put three, four, five of these little bags up at a time and do. You just, when you want fries, boom. I it, can't wait to try them. Oh, I've, awesome. I've never had that before like that. I, I know I'm overselling it, but I'm not. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and throw it to break. Okay. And the last segment is going to be... Oh, it's our favorite one of all time. It's the Alain la, la Manger segment. Oh, yeah. look. You know, we got the big game coming up. Yeah, Sean yeah, yeah. Payton, yeah. He, he went bye-bye. Well, it was uh, time. Yeah. But we got a new coach coming in. We got, we got some exciting stuff going on. And Cajuns, Cajuns had a oh. small but very effective recruiting season. Man, I saw some of them yep. things on, yep, on, yep, on, yep. on Facebook. Yep, yep, yep. like they're doing good. Mm -hmm. So things are good in Louisiana. Michael Desarmo. And we're starting to, I think everybody's starting to get back to some sense of normalcy. We're doing well. Everybody's excited. It's time to get out and get around and look. Follow la la. And the, the, the groundhog, he, he saw a shadow. He did. Six more weeks. Six more weeks, baby. Of course, uh, did the, uh, did the, uh, the Nutrisee the the, the is a... You know what that said? Uh-uh. Just get on. Go bro. on with yourself. Just get on, Go on with yourself. Bro. It don't matter. Hey, y'all come back. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. Hot damn. Look what we got right here. Woo! It's raining. The front's moving through. That's right. <laughs> and look, speaking of front, so look. So this is our sausage and roux based poutine gravy. We put our cheese on there. Watch. It's melting. Look at oh, that. Look, look, look how it's melting. And I'm then, melting. This is the home cut fries. Mm -hmm. And then you have. I got the shrimp, the tasso, the mushrooms. Cream sauce, whipping cream, onions, onions, I and, mean, and the in the back in the store bought crinkle cut fries. Oh yeah, they both work great. Mm. But you get a special treat if you make the if you make the home fries yourself. So right. again, this is poutine. This is Canada's number one bar food, snack food. We just uh, jacked it up a bit. Did we do it? Take Come on, baby. We Cajunized it. That's right. So sponsors, sponsors, courtesy. Go to courtesybb.com. Courtesy of Bro Bridge. They take care, such good care of us. They even have us cooking out on the patio on the ring. Man, I'm telling you, look but at it. But it's all good. They Go got some, I know the, the new car inventory is yeah. a little limited. A lot of people are getting ahead of the game. Yeah. They're ordering yes. ahead of the. So that's the ticket. Go mm. in and order. You get the, you can custom build Pick your whatever vehicle you want. exactly the way you want. They'll build it just for you. But the used car inventory is super duper deep right now. It is, but it's waning too. So, yeah. I mean, look. If you go to courtesybb.com and you find something, there's going to be a little person that pops up and says, hey, can I help you? Yeah, uh, yeah I'd like up. that one right there. Yeah, I'll, be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow to get it. All right. You know? So in Guillory's? Guillory's greatest food, make yeah. it up Louisiana love. If you ain't cooking with Louisiana love, Puh, stop. you ain't loving what you're cooking. Stop the madness. Come on, baby. Yeah. We only go around the planet one time. That's right. Uh, Cajun, Cajun grill. grill. Look at this, boss. Man, look, I mean, how many... How many grills you know you can put two big pots, some sausage? We can oh, probably we have, room. We have enough room to put a brisket and a, bo a Boston <laughs> butt if we wanted to, bro. It's true. Oh, look at that. Yep. Look how pretty that it is. It just cooks like a beautiful machine. Got the fire. Bro. Perfect. This is we. It's a barbecue fire right now. That sucker's yeah. on low and slow. Yeah. And we want to welcome oh, to super our family. Red. That's right. Oh, Mr. Light, thank mm -hmm. you so much. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to, you know, go over there and... Show them what we can do. So look, guys, if we tell y'all to go to Earl's, we need you to do one favor. When you go in the store, in the front door, yeah. you say, look, the guru sent us. That's right. And That's that right. way they know you got sent by us, so their money that they're spending with us is money well spent. Go so. see lovely Larry. That's right. <laughs> go see lovely Larry and That's tell right. him the guru sent us, and it, he will absolutely take care of you. And look, don't be afraid to ask for If you don't see it on the shelf, if the, the, the meat, if this is not in the meat case, ask. They're yeah. nice people. They got your stuff. You're dang right, they do. They do. I, I, yeah, my, my girl in the meat department, I go in there all the time. I, sometimes I'll call it in. But, you know, a lot of times you'll go in there and, you know, you, they have the, the standard cuts, thickness-wise, yeah. and the, the ribeyes and the pork chops. I went in there one time, we were doing that, that pork chops. That, Lay it on I man. said, let me tell you something. I want, I want a three-inch cut. She goes, three-inch? I said, bone-in, three-inch cut. She goes, how many? I said, give me three. Hey, listen, goes, whenever you, you cut it, it, I want you to have to bend and put your shoulder in that sucker like That's that. right. That's right. All right. Yeah. It's time to eat. Mm -mm. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Grilling with the Guru. Please join us next time, and we don't know what we're going to be cooking. But it's going to be we good. We know it's going to be good. Oh. We love you. We will see you next time. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, and make you twist. <laughs>